Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is actually not a very long video. Um, I've got my suspension apart again. Uh, I got some just original um, struts that have, if we look here, they actually have the brake line mount and the little uh, chuck here on this with this welded plate. This is how it's supposed to look. How mine currently looks is I did replace the, the, the spring, but if you notice, the plate was actually ground off overseas. I don't know who was stupid enough to do that, but they were. So I guess we won't go deeper into conversation than that. Um, so what I'm working with here is I've got the, I bought some replacement um, knuckle bolts that go through here. But as you can see, let me have to get some lighting here. Get my light going. As you can see, it doesn't thread. So you're probably thinking, oh, okay, he bought the wrong one. What's very interesting about this is if I find the, where's the other one? This, so what I took off the car, it is perfectly identical in thread and size to the replacement. I guess there's a little more thread on this one, but it's not really a huge deal. Great 8.8, good, uh, good replacement. Here's the deal is you're probably wondering, okay, so then how did this thread on? Well, it didn't. It, it didn't so you know hey maybe there's a nut that goes on the other end of this no 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 no, no. There's, there's no nut that goes on the end of this what they did is when the old strut was in there what they were doing is they were actually bending this around the curvature like this it was kind of pushed up like that and it was it was actually tightening by it being pushed up against the sidewall of the thread um, first of all that's not safe uh, this is the only knuckle mounting bolt on the car per knuckle on the front. Um, that is not safe. I didn't. I'm surprised. I'm shocked and stupid for not realizing this before. Um, unbelievable. So what I'm going to have to do is figure out the thread size on this, and then I'm going to take these back, and I will go get the correct uh, thread. So obviously that's too small. This is a, an M8 by 1.25 I believe let me check here uh, I'll turn this around yeah uh, by 1.25 by 60 not gonna work not gonna work I'm gonna have to take them back I did figure out though that the where is it the bolts for the brake line mount since I didn't have any uh, I went and spent like 30 minutes looking for these uh, put this out of the way I was trying to sort of get some of the rust off um, what I may actually end up doing is putting uh, that spring on this, depending on how this rides when I throw it on, um, now that I actually have an alignment. Because what this chuck does here, this little notch, this little notch aligns the entire knuckle and strut together. So by me using those old ones, it was kind of just eyeballing it and it wasn't really working properly and it wasn't aligned properly. So my ride height was not correct. With this, it'll keep my knuckle aligned on the Y uh, let's see the two axes so up and down height and then um, the actual rotation which isn't a huge deal um, since this top piece rotates in, uh, on its own but yeah we can put this in here this is very strange because this this little bit here an M8 is too big for this thread an M6 is too small this is an M7 and it's a grade 8.8 .8. um, I can actually show y'all right here class 8.8 m7 by 1 by 16 um, so I'm not gonna lose these I even have a little spacer I was deciding whether to put a lock washer but OEM specification doesn't have a lock washer so I'm just gonna run a little spacer um, made it really don't even need to do that but I'm just trying to get it to be or as original as I can um, yeah that's where I'm at this is kind of a pain what I was going to do was actually take the whole knuckle just take the knuckle off take the outer tie rod you see I got the nut loose and then take the lower ball joint, just take it in and match the threads. The problem is that my outer tie rod does not want to come off and I don't want to damage the boot. Um, and I probably already damaged it a little bit, so I'm probably going to have to re try to repack it with grease somehow um, so it'll last. But luckily I was able to check my brake pads and such. They're pretty good. Um, I still need to check the backs. Uh, but as far as this situation, uh, <laughs> it's kind of where I'm at. Um, this is such a such an awe moment for me because I had taken this apart and not even no, noticed this. Uh, this is also a 13 millimeter, which is really stupid um, beyond me. Uh, yeah, 
that's where I'm at. I'm going to do both sides. Um, probably going to end up putting those coil springs on that strut because they're slightly higher. That Those are 250 pounds. I could have even gone up to like 275, 300 if I wanted to. Um, and I don't even want to know what those OEM ones are. They're not that great. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at. Thank you, thank you guys for watching today. It's really it's kind of just a little update video on what I'm doing. Uh, no real um, upgrades or anything. Well, sort of. Kind of just putting it back to how it's supposed to be. Kind of like how I uh, added the leaf springs in the rear that were removed. I'm trying to kind of re-fix this front end. Um, yeah. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.